Deep water reservoirs represent a large percentage of the plastic reservoirs around the world. For the oil industry, it's one of the last areas where they can work and actually do exploration. So they're a very important system, but difficult to understand. And what that means is that often people are having to make important and expensive investment decisions, but with not quite enough data. So there are gaps which need to be filled. And there's this opportunity with the work that we are doing gathering data from different systems from all over the world. That can feed through into the decision-making process that underpins the business. DMAX is the Deep Marine Architecture Knowledge Store. It's a relational database that we have developed here at Leeds, which captures a very wide range of parameters and attributes of deep water analogues. Effectively, the database represents a one-stop shop for high-quality trusted data delivered by a world-leading research group. The reason, I guess, why industry should look at this database as a really powerful asset uh, in their toolbox is that we designed the database to be really consistent and the way that the different uh, elements in the database are uh, clearly defined. That's really where the added values come from. So my job in this project is to get down to the data which we need to populate DMAX. The database can only be as strong as the data we input into it. We are very self-critical of the data that we put in. So we have suitability controls to track where the data's come from. And this data needs to be filtered into the database by a process of uh, standardization. We can be flexible in the type of classes that we choose for describing different geological situations. The way um, DMAX elements are um, classified is based on a hierarchical uh, um, system. If you establish this hierarchy and then you start comparing different hierarchies, different systems, it opens new opportunities. The new value that PDS brought to, to, to the database was really um, designing something that could be used by all the geologists in a company. It's a great opportunity where academia and industry are merging together. There's a lot of anticipation and excitement about the introduction of DMAX to complete our portfolio of the main depositional environments. Potentially it gives us the ability to ask questions across the whole depositional profile. So a source to sink approach. So having DMAX alongside SMAX and FACTS gives us that full scope and coverage. So it allows us to explore areas of uncertainty, different types of modeling algorithms. We can look at whole new workflows based on this very solid, very robust foundation of the three databases. There's an opportunity, I think, with Overclastics and the, the data standard that we're currently developing with the three databases that we have to kind of go one step further and actually federate or integrate client proprietary data alongside the offering that we have from Leeds. So when you're subscribing to, to DMAX through Ava Classics, you're actually subscribing to um, a well-loved database that is, is actively maintained, it's constantly growing and it has the very best quality control available. The next step really is making the connection stronger between the databases and the reservoir modelling applications that people are using every day and allowing them to take the queries that they have created from the database and apply them directly in, in their reservoir models. So it's, it's a continuing journey. Mm -hmm.